Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In our household, it's just me, my husband, and our nine-month-old baby. And for the past several weeks, I have been working on trying to use up stuff in my freezer, fridge, and pantry. And this week is no different, so Howard decided to grill out today. We have a bunch of chicken in our freezer, so he... Um, grilled out and he threw this barbecue sauce on it. We really like it a lot. Well, I really like it. It's good, spicy. And um, we had some fresh corn on the cob, so he grilled that as well. And then I made some baked beans and these are the baked beans that I used. HEB is a grocery store that is here in Texas and I just doctored these up. I added in some bacon and barbecue sauce and bell pepper and then I baked them. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I went to my freezer and grabbed this poblano chicken lasagna with cream sauce from HEB, which is a grocery store that is here in Texas. And so I made a trip there because I don't have one close to me. The closest one is about an hour away. I made a trip there a few months ago and I will make sure to link that haul in the description box because I picked up some pretty cool things. But this lasagna has chicken, poblano peppers, corn, spinach, cheddar, and Monterey Jack cheeses with a poblano cream sauce. And so here it is on my plate and I had to bake it. You bake it for about an hour, an hour and a half. So it took forever to bake. And then we are having a side salad of Southwest um, salad. And I picked this up on a recent Sam's haul and I'll link that so if you guys wanna see what I picked up. But we had this salad one other time and we really liked it so I grabbed it again. And it comes with carrots, salsa sticks, dried corn, seasoned cheese, and a Southwest ranch dressing. And here it is in the bowl. And then we are finishing it off with some garlic bread that I bought from Tom Thumb. I got rid of the box to make room in my freezer, but it is their five cheese garlic bread and we really, really love that stuff. So I picked that up at Tom Thumb or depending on where you live, it's also called Albertsons or Randall's. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am making Mississippi chicken thighs. Now, Mississippi pot roast has been circulating around the internet for years and years and years, but I love this version just as much. I have made Mississippi pot roast, Mississippi pork roast, and Mississippi chicken, and they are all equally delicious. So in my bowl, I have almost three pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I've cleaned them up and I've trimmed off some of the fat. To that, you're going to add a package of brown gravy. And I don't know if I mentioned, but this is a crock pot recipe. So brown gravy goes in, and then you're going to add one package of ranch dressing. and you're just gonna get in there with your hands and mix it all up. And I'm just gonna lay it in my crock pot. So the next thing you wanna add are your pepper, your uh, peppers, and so these are, this is a brand that I use, and I usually make, or use, I'm sorry, about 10 peppers, and I like to cut them in half. Howard and I really like the peppers, and they're not hot at all. They just add a really good flavor. Some people like to add the brine, but I, I kind of feel like that makes it a little bit too vinegary for my taste. And then the last thing you're gonna do is add some butter. So I am using unsalted butter. You really don't need to use salted butter because there's already enough salt in this recipe. And um, I have almost a whole stick 
but I've used half a stick, I've used a whole stick, and you really can't tell the difference at all. So, all right. So I've got it all in my crock pot and I am just going to cover this up and cook it on low for about five to six hours. And when it's all finished, I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. So here is the Mississippi chicken. I let it cook for about six hours on low. And here is our plate. So we are having broccolini. I just stir fried some bro broccolini and I made some jasmine rice and of course the uh, chicken. And here it is in the crock pot. And it is really good, it has a great flavor. And as you can see, it kind of fell apart in there. Now some people I know shred it um, but I just prefer it in pieces like this. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I have started our dinner for tonight and it is Italian sausage with broccoli rob and um, bow tie pasta. Sorry, lost my train of thought. I first tried this recipe, I guess it's been several months ago and I did share it on that what's for dinner video. <laughs> Got my sous chef in the kitchen. Let me just show you Harrison. Say hello, Harrison. Say hello, Harrison. Say hi. Well, there he is now. He's being so shy and bashful. He is nine months old now. So let me go back. Um, so what I have done is in some heavily salted water, I boiled two cups of dry pasta, this bow tie pasta. Now I only had the mini pasta. I would have preferred the regular size pasta, but I'm just using what I've got. And then once the pasta was almost done, I added in my chopped up broccoli rob, and it's just supposed to boil for a couple of minutes. And then I am going to drain this and I'm going to add this to my Italian sausage. Now I would have preferred a hot Italian sausage because Howard and I like spicy, um, but I just had plain or regular, I should say. So I just browned some Italian sausage and garlic. And so once I drain my pasta and broccoli rob, I'm gonna add it to this and then I'm going to add in some Parmesan cheese. So let me get this drained and then I will show you the finished product. And I'll make sure, if I didn't say this already, I'll make sure to link the what's for dinner video in the description box so you guys can go back and check out that recipe. It is so, so good. So I will be right back. So here it is. I drained the pasta and broccoli rob, added it to the skillet skillet, added the Parmesan cheese. I will tell you that on the recipe that you'll see on the other video, it does say to reserve a cup of pasta water and add it to the skillet. And I never ever do that. Um, and it's really good, very flavorful. If you can tolerate hot and spicy Italian sausage, I would definitely use that because it does add a lot more flavor. But again, I didn't have that on hand, so was not able to use that. So anyway, this is what we're having for dinner tonight, um, and we will see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having grilled hamburgers. Howard grilled out for us. We had, or have, a bag of frozen hamburger patties from Sam's. So on my plate, I just have some bacon. I had some pre-cooked bacon in the freezer, and I just microwaved it, and we have some cheddar cheese on top, and um, we are having all the uh, steak fries. I forgot to grab them for you guys, but they're all these steak fries and I just baked them in the oven. Didn't put them in my air fryer because I have a small air fryer and for Howard and I, two servings won't fit in my air fryer. So this is my plate and I have a buttered bun that I toasted on top of, uh, or grilled kind of on top of the stove in butter. And then these are the hamburger buns that we're using. We're trying these out for the first time. These are from Aldi and they were $1.99. They're definitely a lot more substantial than their cheaper buns, the ones that are 85 cents. They're kind of heavy and um, they look pretty good. This is Howard's plate. He does not like his bun toasted. He just likes it plain. He's got bacon, cheese, and as you can see, a ton of avocado. I'm sure he's probably gonna add some condiments to uh, his burger once we sit down to eat. But this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.